You know, people usually say one of two things whenever they see the Naga. First is, holy crap, that is a lot of buttons. And the second is, why didn't I think of that? Because the Naga has a really intuitive design, and back in 2009 when we introduced it, people really took to it. It was unlike anything the industry had seen. So the legacy of the Razer Naga has really grown since 2009. Now we have an entire range of models that cater to different needs and styles. And that's all led up to this. The new, redesigned Razer Naga. And on the other hand, I've got you lefties covered too. So, so many different styles to choose from. Which Naga is right for you? Well, these are all purpose-built mice. So if you're into MMOs, left-handed or right-handed, you're gonna wanna go with the Razer Naga. But maybe you want a little more to the mouse. You want a little bit of wireless freedom. You want interchangeable thumb grips, multicolored lighting. Cool, we got you covered there. Upgrade with the Naga Epic. Let's say you just focus on action RPGs and you play MOBAs. You want something a bit more aggressive. The Razer Naga Hex is where you want to be. So let's get into the core mouse. The new Razer Naga exists thanks to a legacy of innovation and feedback from gamers like you. Thanks for supporting PBS. It features an updated ergonomic design to accommodate a wider range of hand shapes. Its iconic 12 button thumb grid now sports mechanical keys that promote faster actuation with tactile feedback. And the new tilt scroll wheel adds the ability to click left and right, giving you two more buttons to map. The most important changes come from improving the way that your hand fits to the mouse. To do this, we adjusted the actual shape of the mouse, increasing the lift and touch points under the palm and moving the hand back and tilting it towards the ring and pinky finger. We extended the length of the rest point of your ring finger and designed the rubber textured side grip just underneath your pinky. This puts your hand in a relaxed position and reduces hand fatigue for those long hours. Plus, it keeps your fingers off the desk. Let's check out the thumb grid. We slightly rotated, lifted, and moved it forward so that the buttons are easier to access. The raised profile of each individual enlarged button on the thumb grid allows for blind finding, and it also curves with the mouse. Taking a cue from the Naga Hex, the new Naga has mechanical switches that allow for faster actuation and, well, it feels pretty good. Ah, yeah. That click. The new Razer Naga comes with an in-game configurator that you can access through Synapse 2.0. This really helps MMO players really dial in the functionality of their Naga. Because MOBAs and action RPGs require a different playstyle, we tweak the design of the Razer Naga into the Razer Naga X. We focus the 12 button thumb grid down to six mechanical keys. Now these buttons actually take less force to actuate and are perfect for assigning items, commands, and skills. The Razer Naga Hex comes in three different editions. We've got the standard green, the Wraith Red edition, and the League of Legends version, which comes with Trindamir, as well as a skin. The Razer Naga Epic expands on the freedom of the original Razer Naga, and this mouse is all about choice. It has multicolored lighting, interchangeable side grips, and can go dual wired wireless. So if I wanted to go wired, I'd simply pull the cable out of the back of the charging station, plug it in the front here, and we're in wired mode. Now this is actually charging and pushing data over the cable. For more customized grip, I can switch out the side panel, to one of three different grips. For a wide body, or for a more aggressive claw grip style. It's really up to you. Now you've met the whole Naga family, and you know which one is right for you. I'm Travis, this has been Razor 101. Thanks for watching. <laughs>